Hey everyone, I'm Kristen. This is my YouTube channel and today I'm talking about COVID part two. I think I'm a long hauler. Let's do this. So following the COVID outbreak and the medicine and the research that's been done surrounding people who've had COVID, there's this thing called a, like post-acute COVID syndrome. And it basically means that there are longer term side effects. Um, we don't know how long that lasts, but I actually just had an appointment with my doctor yesterday. Um, he's happy with the progress that I've made, but he kind of gave me a little bit of a level set so he's like it's good he's like but this is what you should expect going forward and some of this stuff is just not talked about a lot and I wanted to use this video platform to kind of add my voice and add my concern and bring it up if anybody happens across this video just because it's not really being talked about like just maybe in the last couple of days um <coughs> Um, as far as my condition goes, um, the last video I was perky and happy and felt great, but I I wouldn't say I've taken a back, like a, a relapse, but um, my fatigue is back, my cough is back, um, I've been wearing the oxygen at night to kind of help my lungs heal, um, take some of the burden off of them. Um, because I just am not where I want to be. Um, I took a walk around my apartment complex and almost passed out <laughs> after I got back just because I was so tired. Um, and that is a very, very common side effect of COVID. And I guess that lasts for a long time. Um, I read a story about a woman who was a marathon runner and she ran the New York Marathon, the Boston Marathon, like like just all the time. She's Before she got um, diagnosed with COVID, she was training for one, I think in Las Vegas. Like she's just, she's just like a hardcore physical like, like machine. And she also like walks around the block and can't catch a breath and so, it's just one of those things that I didn't expect to last this long and I never was told about it. I just thought that as soon as the COVID left, it would take a little bit of time and then I would start feeling better. And that's just unfortunately not the case all the time. Um, my doctor said that it doesn't matter how severe your case is, it like you could have no symptoms, you could have very minor symptoms, you could have more severe symptoms like I have, or like I had. Um, he's like, it's just, you know, it's it's the body's way of kind of dealing with, with this thing. He described it as a tornado, like COVID is a tornado. It goes through your body, it leaves, but what it leaves behind really takes a while to kind of heal from. And so that's why I say that I am a long hauler. That's kind of what um, the term has been dubbed, like the long haulers of COVID, um, because the symptoms are just taking so long. Um, I talked about shortness of breath. I talked about fatigue. I'm trying to think, oh my gosh. I have, let me move this over here actually. Okay. Um, I talked about my fatigue my shortness of breath, but there's this weird like mental fog that has kind of settled over me. And it just takes me a little more time and a little more concentration to like get my words out and do my job and like have relationships with people. And so that's been super weird, but I guess that's super normal. Um, my doctor is, he basically put in for blood work for every two weeks for the next couple months um, because 
COVID, regardless of whether you still have it or not, can damage your liver and your kidneys. And so I did have some flank pain, just like on this side of my body when I had COVID. And so I'm a little concerned about my kidneys. And so I'm gonna get the blood work back and go from there. Um, it's just, there's been weird like muscle pain, joint pain. I mean, it has just been the most like random symptoms. Um, I'm moody and I don't know if that's just like a girl thing or if it's a COVID thing, but other people have said that moodiness, um, in fact, the CDC listed it as a symptom. So I'm gonna go with, it's a COVID thing, not a Kristen thing, but it's just, yeah, it's, it's a longer haul than I first anticipated. And I just wanted to have a conversation about that, open up like kind of that topic a little bit more and also be honest with you guys because my last video, I was chipper, things were great. I was feeling so much better. And I think things have settled down a little bit and I've, I've gotten back into my routine and things are still a little bit harder and I'm fine, but it's like, it's like that Ross scene in, in friends. I'm fine. Like that's how it, that's how I feel. Like it's, it's fine. It's, I'm fine. But, um, I just wanted to bring that up and then talk about this whole long hauler thing because there are some side effects that are longer lasting. They don't know if it's permanent or not. So it's just, you know, one of those things, the HIV virus turned into AIDS, chickenpox turned it into shingles, um, with like the first SARS outbreak. I mean, people had lung issues for a long time afterwards. So I guess it makes sense that this would be the case but I just didn't know about it. <laughs> and so um, I just thought it, it was important to talk about, um, not just for the people that have COVID, but for the people who maybe aren't as vigilant as they think they, they as we think they should be. Like wear a mask, use hand sanitizer, please socially distance. Like the, the disease itself is rough. Like it wrecked my body. I was down for the count. Um, but I could have organ damage that goes even beyond that. And that's stuff that you don't wanna mess around with. And if wearing a mask can protect someone that you love or you yourself, I don't, I don't see a reason why not to. Um, keep your gatherings small. And just, yeah, like follow the guidelines until we can get this vaccine pushed through until people like are actually safer because the the disease is horrible. The, the side effects are almost worse. And I just, yeah, I wanted to bring that up, start a conversation, comment below if you've had any side effects from COVID, if you are a long hauler, if you know a long hauler, um, and yeah, um, just be safe. I know that's so cliche, but I, I think I took advantage of what COVID, like of my immune system and like, I can beat this and, and I did, but <laughs> at what cost? So if you can prevent it, prevent it. Anyway, um, I just wanted to get on and share that with you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video for supporting my channel. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you like this content. It's not all gonna be about COVID, I promise, but I just wanted to do this follow-up again, just to get that message out there and to give an honest, um, I guess, review of how I'm doing um, and how things are going so far. So anyway, thanks. I love you all and I will see you in my next video.